Uh, glad to be here on God's Healer 7. Today is Friday, July 14th, 2023. Um, I know that we've been hearing, um, having problems with the audio. Uh, I just want to comment right up front. Um, thank you for reminding us. Um, but when before we put it up, uh, both Barbara and I listened to it. And, and Barbara, you can comment on this and interject at any time. Um, the yes, audio I was usually listen, and um, for some reason we seem to be able to hear it, but then when it gets um, to you guys, a lot of you guys can't hear it, so we don't know. So, so I don't know if it's the browser, I don't know what it is, but it's <laughs> not that we just, I mean... Wait, do you want to know what I think it is? It's the devil, of course, <laughs> not wanting us to speak it. <laughs> but I, we, I do, and, and I, I, I explained it to you, and you said, that sounds fine. And I said, I know it does. All right, enough of that. Let's go there. I, I got this on um, last night on July 13th, 2023, and I almost said 2024, but um, Barbara has the scripture. I think you are in the book of Matthew, so I'm going to turn it over to you right now. Yes, hi, guys. Um, I'm in the book of Matthew, um, New Testament, uh, let's see, chapter, um, excuse me, chapter 24, verses 42 to 44. Watch, therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye always ready, for in such an hour ye think not the son of man cometh. Don't you love that? He comes like a thief in the night. Boy, yeah, and we've used that scripture many a time on many of our prophecies. And, oh, yeah, um, my whole book of Matthew is all marked up with all yeah, kinds of stuff I, everywhere. I know, I know. Okay, uh, this one, I, I think I think it's hair-raising. Um, it's starting to um, talk about what's in the little book. Is that what, my, my interpretation correct? Yes, that's what I'm, and you know what, I think there might be a few other people that are, are saying the same thing, that okay. this knowledge is coming out now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the appointed time. Okay, so here we go, okay? I shall, oh, and I'm going to talk a little louder just in case uh, we have a problem, and hopefully um, that helps a little bit, so I'm moving a little closer. I'm about six inches away, and you're about one inch away, so we can't do anything more than that, and, it's, and I... And we're at 99 on the volume, so this is what it is. <laughs> okay, anyway. I shall open the book of knowledge to the page of truth. Isn't that cool? Yes. Shall everlasting knowledge not serve its purpose this day? I just find this so cool. I'm sorry, I'm interjecting. Weakness begets weakness, and strength begets strength. Where shall you be found? The sword of justice shall cut the tie that binds thee. I was doing, I'm, I'm interjecting, and I'm sorry, but there's, there's so much in this. I was looking up the sword of justice, and I was trying to figure out, and I don't know exactly what's the tie that binds thee. Is it my illness? Is it your illness? Is it what's going on? I don't know. So anyway, here we go. Speak now, son of man. Speak the words of truth. The book that has been closed shall be opened. Oh, Holy Spirit. Me too, right from head to toe. Death comes to the unbelievers, for the truth shall roar. The war clouds are gathering. Prepare thyself for the coming destruction. And as soon as I hear that, I think of sudden destruction. Right. Yes. Those that, this is part, listen to this part, and I have a lot of inter my head on this one. Those that open their eyes shall be blinded by the light. Now, is that a nuclear thing, or is that just, you know. The light <laughs> of truth, the Lord. Yes, exactly. What shall come to pass shall not have been witnessed since the beginning. No one shall hide from my judgment. And that goes with your last one. Remember the caves, the rich people? Yes. 
So let these words bear witness to what shall be. These events shall be preceded by a deafening roar, for it is I who returns. Double wow. woe. Sorry for the interjection, but there's so much stuff in there. I just thought I, I, I wanted to offer my opinion. So I'm going to turn it over to you. You want to add anything onto this before we go into the Day of Vengeance or anything else? Yes, um, I, I'm getting a prophecy now, and it has to do with uh, the Lord and the glory of the Lord. I just want to run that by you. In case you don't see us, just come back and check maybe tomorrow or later. Um, so I'm going to do the um, Day of Vengeance, and then I'm going to do the Prayer of Jabez. So on September 24th, 2022, uh, the Lord called on me to proclaim the Day of Vengeance of our Lord is at hand. So you might want to Google that and research so you know what's going on there. And you should be, I feel like the little nana grandma, make sure you're reading your Bible. You need to do this. You need to be prepared and know what's coming up. You need to know his word. You need to know him. And you're not going to know him unless you know his word. You're That's not going to know where he's coming from. And as if you soon think as I he... get a prophecy and there's a sentence and it the Lord puts on me right exactly the scripture of where that is, which is cool, because I read the Bible a thousand times. Hmm. Okay, you want to um, do the prayer of Jabez? I know we had a yes, comment um, on the prayer of Jabez, but yes, um, I think it's important. Yes, there was a comment on the prayer of Jabez. Someone didn't know if it was really in the Bible. And they turn and off the video is, when it gets to the prayer of Jabez. Yes, so the, 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 scripture, or the um, uh, scripture is... Uh, in First Chronicles chapter 4, I think it's verse 10, and it is the prayer of Jabez. You can read that, and I did post it on uh, God's Holy okay. Seven, Facebook, and on the other one. Okay, so here we go again. I arranged it for me. So I say this uh, at least twice a day. God the Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, bless me indeed. Expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always, and please don't ever let me cause anyone harm or pain. Again, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Okay. Great. Okay. So, um, do you want prayers for anybody? I want a prayer for your son, Joseph, and your um, for your mom, and for prayer for my sister, who is really having a hard time. And actually, I talked to her yesterday, and George is recovering a little bit, but it's going to take some time. So, I'm going to turn it over to prayers that you have requests for now. Yes, uh, my friend um, Timothy uh, with depression, uh, my friend uh, Patty has uh, gallbladder issues, and you know about that, how awful that is. Well, yeah, since I don't have one, I sure do. Yes, but I helped you. Remember I drug you around the whole yard? Oh, and yeah. Yep. I thought we were not. I nuts. cried. I cried, but I did it. No, I made you get out of bed. You hung on top of me, and we walked up and down the yard for days. Dr. Yeah. Barbara, yep, I remember. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's 40 years ago. Is it 40 or 30? It's, no, it's 30 years ago. Wow. It's right Seems about like now. It was like this part. It was around. I had the attack in March of 93, and I had the surgery in June. That's when you were walking me around as June and July. So it's uh, right do about now. Just, do you want me to squeal and say what caused the attack? The little pepperoni <laughs> tray and the uh, cream puffs? <laughs> and, and me saying, I don't care. All right, let me <laughs> let me bounce around. A couple things I want to say that I think are very important, and um, we at, we need our subscribers' help. Uh, first yes. of all, um, we are spending more out more money than we're bringing in. Okay, uh, this is the fir first the first time since we've <laughs> been running this channel that that's been happening. So we really need your help. Okay. The second thing I want to add is that um, you know we have people asking for help. And, and as far as I know, what I believe, and, and Barbara, you could add on, I mean, if somebody, if we help somebody, and then they come back again asking for help, um, sometimes we help them again. It depends on the circumstances. But we, I, I, I prefer, personally believe that I want to help as many people as possible. So I kind of um, shy away unless it's a, a real emergency um, helping the same person two, three, or four times okay, because of the I limited just resources. I just wanted to interject yes. um, that most people don't realize, and I usually say this, um, you need to exhaust your own um, areas. For example, contact your own human services department in your city 
Uh, they could hook you up with insurance. They could hook you up with food stamps. They could hook you up with apartments, uh, heat assistance. There's all sorts of programs out there, food banks. You could get free stuff all the time. I know this because my, my son was on all this. And, so uh, please, yes, please exhaust those areas first. Right. And we do thank you for the support. I, I just want to let everybody know that um, right now we're paying out more than we're bringing in. So okay, Brother Dan, Brother Dan's uh, comment is usually to me, we're scratching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want to go into that anymore. I want to thank everybody for that <laughs> does support us. Uh, words can not express our gratitude and our appreciation. And those um, we help. Which, right, and, you know, there's been people that have been on here at this channel since 2011, 2012, or maybe 2018, and um, we kind of looked into you guys. Um, if you haven't um, helped the channel, to help the channel. And if it's not yes, financially, yourself, at least, um, you know, give a comment, help somebody else, do um, pray for somebody. Um, we, we'd like you to participate in some way, shape, or form, whatever that means. It doesn't have to be financial. I mean, because well, you know what? Let me just mention this. And um, uh, we had asked for help for Kathy's family. Uh, yes. The mom had yes. cancer and the dad has uh, had a heart attack. Yes. It's like both at the same time. Now, someone... I don't have the name in front of me. Someone sent a Redmond's gift card. Yes. They were so overjoyed and yes. happy. The mom hugged me up and down. Yep. I mean, even if you can't help with funds, gift card like that, that they were never even at Redmond's. They were overjoyed with that. Right. I was crying over that. So yes. thank you. And that, that was so awesome, and we do appreciate that. And we usually don't go down this route. We try to stay to the message and what's our job. But, we, you know, I, I mean, people are complaining about the equipment. Well, I mean, you have the laptop. We can't get that to work to uh, do the videos. That's why I'm doing it. And um, this laptop is probably eight or ten years old. So, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, I mean, we have a choice. We, we, we try to send the money out, and we're not putting it, and you keep on yelling at me into equipment that we need to upgrade. <laughs> I mean, we're... I mean, we have we have a tripod. I mean, that we're trying to duct tape sometimes to try to do stuff, and a, a, a bloggy. I don't even know if they make them anymore. But that's enough about that. But um, thank you for all okay, the help. Don't, don't laugh. I really <laughs> did use duct tape on the blog. I know you did. I'm not making this up. <laughs> but uh, we do appreciate the support, and this is a very important message, and it's the beginning of the, the little book that um, I and both you got that is being opened. If we still have anybody listen to us. Um, and uh, there's more important things to come and I think this is just the beginning and there's going to be other people out there and you're going to be hearing the same message so yes. we do appreciate everything you do and anything that you can do to help would be greatly appreciated at this point in time that's all I got to say yes and the Lord said go your way Daniel you will speak again God bless everyone we love you guys and thank you for how about this putting up with us all these years <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch this get old and gray, and um, I'm sure we're going to both get hammered for this one. Well, at least I'm, I'm old and gray, so that's okay. All right, I'm going to sign off, and hopefully I can upload this, and I got the title, and um, I'll let you know, because I know you have some things to do, and so do I, okay? Yes, and let, let me know how your therapy your doctor appointment goes. All right, talk to you later. Okay. Well, don't, oh. don't hang up a second. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm gonna all right. We love you guys. Thank you for everything. Okay, bye.